Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and welcome to my full moon in Capricorn, July 3rd, 2023 report. And surprise, I'm back on camera. It's been, what, like over nine months since Hurricane Ian hit, and I went off camera because I had to, and then I realized how much less stressful it is for me to be off camera, so I enjoyed that break for the first time in 10 years, not having to be on camera. So um, I am back in this report. I've had many people request that I come back on and say hi, so here I am. And I wanna talk about this magical full moon, which I'm calling the theme of it, rare luck. And we'll talk about that as we get into deeper layers of understanding the potentials of this full moon. So if you know my work, then you know I love delicious layers to give you one layer and then build and then build and then build so that we have this beautiful, nice, comprehensive picture of the potentials. And my intention for doing this work is to equip you to have the most positive outcomes, to have the viewpoint that will help you to see any challenges that come in a way through the lens of solutions. And so we'll talk about all the potentials and we'll take it piece by piece. So first of all, this is a super moon. Okay, so the super moons are closer to the Earth. That's why they look bigger. So this is gonna look really big in the sky and it's going to look really beautiful as a backdrop for our 4th of July in the United States, the fireworks and everything that will be happening. You might hear my neighbors um, partying hardy already here on 4th of July weekend. So um, super moon, okay, so what does that mean? Yes, it's closer, that's why it looks bigger. And yes, the gravitational effects are stronger, which means that everything that makes the full moon what it is, fullness, completion, fruition, drama, insomnia, all of those things can be intensified and you might start to feel them sooner and they might feel those effects lasting longer. So most of us tend to feel the full moons two to three days before, sometimes four days before. Super moons, I know I tend to feel them like at least five or six days before or more. Okay, so that excitement, that fullness, all of those things. Now, as, as far as the manifestations for them, you know, and then the few days before and the few days after are the hottest time of where you can see outcomes, something coming to the light, something coming out of the shadows, like here I am, right, coming out of the shadows, and um, this elucidation occurring, insights, information, recognition, being, you know, brought out into the limelight, all of these things tend to happen at full moons, and this is a full moon in Capricorn. So this has to do with work, career, your place out in the world. Note that your place out in the world does not have to mean how you make money. Many people don't need to earn money, as um, incomprehensible as that sounds to many people. There are people that just, don't, that whether they're retired or independently wealthy, whatever it is, this Capricorn energy shows us our energy out in the world. And for most people, that also has to do with your job and you know what you're doing. But for other people, like if you're in that other division, this can have to do with uh, a project that you're excited about. This can have to do with, um, you know, something where you're volunteering or you're sh sharing your gifts. It can also have to do with father figures, bosses, you as a father or father figure, um, and basically your place out in the world, like what are you doing there? And a lot of ways I see this also can act as like purpose. You know, what is it that you're here to do and how are you bringing that? Okay, so this fullness can bring more information about your purpose, can make you feel more on track, can bring you more certainty and clarity. And, um, you know, and that's what full moons do. So the Capricorn energy is at 11 degrees. Okay, so if you have a Capricorn placement between like six and 16 degrees, especially close to 11 degrees, um, or actually if you have water or, um, earth signs in that zone, then you will get this favorable kisses, extra kisses from this uh, full moon. Some other timelines that we can talk about for manifestation of the full moon has to do with, of course, the couple of weeks of the building cycle of the full moon, the 28 days or so of the actual cycle um, of the new and then full moon, and then also a 13 moon cycle, you know? So over the course of a year, around a year, we have 13 moons. So things that are happening now could have been building since last year. And, um, and things that you could be working on now could be telling a storyline over the next 13 moons, okay? So we've got all of these different delicious layers of manifestation, of um, action, of activity that 
relate to this energy. So um, the reason why I'm calling this the theme of this uh, moon rare luck is because it also happens to be trining Jupiter in Taurus. Okay, so trine is the most favorable aspect in all of astrology. Capricorn is an earth sign. Taurus is an earth sign. Um, they're within two degree orb, so it's very tight. The uh, Jupiter's at nine degrees. The full moon is at um, 11 degrees. Oh, and by the way, that will be at 7.39 a.m. Eastern time, so you can change that for your time zone. Something else that, oh wait, before I leave the, the, the rare luck, it's unusual for us to have a trine with Jupiter at this time, you know, at a full moon time. So Jupiter brings luck. It brings, um, people doing something for you out of nowhere. I remember one time there was a Jupiter aspect and it was just a very special family day. I sometimes talk about this, um, this energy because it was really important to me with um, someone that was close to me. And there was something that they wanted to do, so I made it happen for them, you know, for us to do that. And then we did it. We actually wound up getting free tickets to what we were going to do. And there was a lot of like, magic around it it was actually a baseball game and big poppy had was having having his last um away game and so it was like kind of a monumental event in baseball history as well and again we got the free tickets and it was just overall an amazing gift and then that person um not too long afterwards passed away. So it's just something that I hold in my heart, you know, not that there has to be any association with death or anything at this full moon, but just, it's just this Jupiter energy brings this luck, this awesomeness, this like, you step into a situation where it's like, wow, really? This is really cool, it's very expansive, it can expand your horizons, it can expand your insights, expand your perspective, and, you know, it's just, it's really, really magical. So a couple of other supporting pieces to understand the layers of this moon um, is one, we've got three planets in Cancer. Okay, so the Sun, Mercury, and Star Goddess Juno are all in Cancer. So there's a lot of energy around home and family and housing and real estate. So those energies can be very prominent. It also is, Cancer is ruled by the moon. So this is a special time when the sun is in the sign of the moon, that what the moon rules, okay? So there's, there's an accord there. There's beautiful um, music playing between them, you know? And then we've got in Leo, oh, and also we can, since it's extra emotional, right? Because all the, the Cancer energies, it could be extra emotional for better or worse. And then we've got Mars and Venus and Pallas Athena, all in Leo. So Leo can bring more drama and more excitement and things having to do with children and creativity and um, you know fiery, zesty, passionate energies. So all of that is another, those things are layers that are going on top of this fullness and something coming to fruition, something coming to light, uh, clarity coming. If you want to see more about the energy of July, definitely go to Annie Botticelli, my YouTube um, homepage, and look for my July uh, horoscopes. There'll be a playlist. You can go to home. You might land on the videos page. If you have trouble finding it, you can go to home and there's a July playlist. And I also have Augusts out now too. So if you want to look ahead, um, we've got a lot that's going on, you know, this month of July, Venus is going to go retrograde. There's a lot to know there. I go over all that in the horoscopes. So if you want more information on what's happening now, then you can get that in, um, in my horoscopes. If you go to AnnieHelpsYou.com, you can see more free things, including written horoscopes and other things there. And if you want to learn astrology and you resonate with how I teach, this is an amazing time for education. The stars are really ripe for that. So you can check out my Astrology Basics course if you wanna just you know, have a little taste of um, my teaching, or if you wanna go for the gusto and join my Becoming a Professional Astrologer Mastery course. If you think I put a lot into my free offerings, you should see what I put into that. It's growing, it's, there's over 100 modules, and it's so comprehensive. So you can see all that at loomlife.com, L-U-M-E, life.com. These links are also in the notes underneath the video. I hope you have a magical full moon. Bye.